What's up fam, my name is Brandon Depp and today I'm gonna to teach you how to leverage debt to make more money. And if that's what you love to hear, go ahead and smash that like button, go ahead and su subscribe and uh, let's get into it. So first things first, I'm able to take debt from the bank and use it to pay off uh, bad debts. And what do I mean by bad debt versus good debt? So bad debt would be like a car loan, uh, a credit card, store credit, student loans, um, you know, all those things that don't bring in income. Uh, some people will say that a house or a mortgage uh, that you live in or owner finance, not owner finance, but one that you live in is bad debt uh, or a forced savings account. Um, I actually own, I don't, I rent, uh, I don't actually own a house yet. Uh, it's actually being created right now. We're in the middle of um, new construction. So to actually buy our dream home, this is the same principle that I did, and I'm gonna tell you how I did that right now. So um, we're in the middle of a refinance, and I'm able to take out the money from my uh, one of my rental properties and do a cash out refi, and take that money and either transfer the equity into another property by using that money as a down payment, and that's what we're doing with our new construction, but we're actually doing it a little bit different. So. My uh, wife has a lot of student debt, which doesn't really make her any money because um, sure, she got a job uh, because she has a master's degree, but she doesn't even work in that field, which is fine, but uh, she does make a substantial amount of income, but she has a lot of student debt. So what we're able to do is refinance one property, do a cash out refi, and pay off most of her student debt which will free up $1,000 a month of just money that she would have had to spend on that student debt, which is only gonna raise up my mortgage about $83. So I'm able to pay $83 over the course of 30 years, and every month she's gonna free up $1,000 a month from student loan debt. So uh, if we didn't do this, we would actually be throwing money away. And this is the power of understanding how money works and the, the power of leverage and the power of um, understanding debt and good debt versus bad debt. So the way we actually are going to buy our dream house is uh, once we pay off some of her student debt, the remaining three properties that we own, which is a single family and two four units, we're able to refinance those properties and the way that the interest rates are so low, our current interest rates are five to 7%, we're gonna refinance that and drop it down to, I believe, around 3.6%, which is gonna pretty much not change my mortgages whatsoever in uh, a monthly standpoint, but we're able to take that, uh, that cash out refi and put it as a down payment into our dream home. And that just allows us to uh, buy our house without any money out of pocket um, because I'm just transferring the equity from our real estate to our uh, dream home, in a sense, and uh, be able to pretty much um, live, I guess, rent-free, in a sense, uh, because what the pretty much what our mortgage would be uh, would be what our rent would be here, and that's just um, it's kind of no change because I'm able to um, buy our dream home with no money out of pocket because I'm able to take the equity that our real estate appreciated in and actually use it towards the down payment of our dream home. And uh, now I don't have to pay PMI, I don't have to pay all these extra fees, and we get a better interest rate because it's new construction and we're living in it, um, and we're putting so much down that our interest rate is gonna be like two points, I think 7% which is insane if you think about it. That is literally free money that they're just giving us uh, to, to have. If you look at the, obviously the, the, the average in, uh, inflation rate, it's about 3%. If we're borrowing money at 2.7, uh, I mean, it's just a no brainer. We would literally be throwing away money even more if we did not refinance our properties and put them into our dream home. So. Um, that is the power of leverage, that's the power of using debt, that is the power of understanding how money works. So uh, if you want to learn how to escape the digital rat race and create recurring income, check out themoneyfriends.com and uh, that is all the tactics that I use to 
learn and teach how to make money online and how to use leverage to make more money. So if you're like me and you love passive income, then hit that subscribe button, smash that like button, and let the YouTube algorithms do its thing and uh, show this to more people. So I really appreciate you and have a good day. Peace.